Hi Scorpio, I'm Jennifer. I'm going to do your reading. I'm going to shuffle the cards three times and then we'll get right into your reading and find out what messages spirits have for you today. What you need to know. Spirits, what's happening with Scorpio? Okay, Scorpio, let's find out what you're doing, what you're not aware of. Okay, so you're up in your head about something, obviously, feeling stuck in the mind. We have the world here. Judgment. You need to make a judgment call. Okay. I feel like you felt trapped. You felt stuck in some way. Um, and a cycle has completely closed out and it's time to make a judgment call. This is a significant judgment call. It's a life changing decision. We have the five of coins, the eight of wands, the hermit Virgo energy. Ten of Cups, Four of Coins, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so what is this that you have been feeling stuck in your mind about? We have the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Wands here. Um, for some of you, you are, you own your own business. Um, there could be a legal matter here that's really specific and it's not for everyone, but um, there's some type of a legal matter when it comes to your business. But... Three, three faces staring at me here. Three different faces. Let's move on and find out what this means. Why is the world here? Okay, we have the full Aries energy, the magician, that was in there for a reason, eight of pentacles, working on your money, your stability, you could be doing something where you're reaching the world, you're in an energy of manifestation, manifesting change with the wheel of fortune. And there's a completion, and I see you walking into the unknown, making a decision um, to walk into the unknown. It's calling you to take a leap of faith and manifest something new. But there's something here that you need to make a judgment call on that has been weighing on your mind. Why is judgment here? Ace of Swords, Queen of, I mean the Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands, I'm seeing you here as being very, uh, very, very successful, very honest. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who's single, but you're, you're fighting an inner battle with yourself about some, about something. And 
I'm seeing like some type of a conflict is attached to something here in your life that is very successful that could have something to do with your money. Why is the five of coins here? The three of swords. The eight of pentacles. Tower. Okay, so for someone here, there's something here that has ended suddenly with the tower. There's a sudden shocking ending that could be attached to work. It doesn't have to, but it could be attached to work that is causing pain and heartbreak and maybe a loss of finances for someone. There's also someone here in your energy that's feeling very heartbroken over you, Scorpio. And this person's trying to work a lot to get you off of their mind. This person is thinking about you a lot, but they're in hermit mode. Because this connection I'm seeing here, that this person you're connected to, connecting with... Um, They're feeling left out in the cold. Let me find out more about this tower. Why is the tower here? Whoever this person is. I feel like you'll be getting a message from this person. This person may not be feeling well. I feel like whoever you're connecting with, they're, um, they have a new connection with someone where there could be a significant age difference and this new connection has completely fallen down, fallen apart, it's over. I'm seeing you receiving messages here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah. Maybe this connection, this new connection this person got into, um, it didn't work because this person keeps thinking about you, Scorpio. They're, they're going to send you messages and tell you that they love you. They want a reconciliation. That's Sagittarius energy. And they see you as their happiness. Leo energy with the sun. So pretty soon, I feel like you could be feeling like in the dark when it comes to this person. Like you're not sure what's going on with this person. But pretty soon, everything will be illuminated here so that you can see clearly because this person's going to send you messages. And the, it's going to be an honest conversation. Why is the hermit here? We have the queen of wands. This person's been in hermit mode with a separate energy that's showing up as someone that um has to... Oops, sorry scorpio okay it's like this third party connection this third party um wants this person for their money and it's like been a nightmare and so 
whoever this is that's on your mind, they keep thinking about you and what they had with you. They keep, they're like dwelling in the past. This person wants to come home. Why is the Ten of Cups here? They can't get you off of their mind. This could be a Pisces. Or Leo is there again. They, they are willing to fight for this connection. This is someone that loves you. This person may not have put you in a third party situation. This third party could have came into existence after this ending with you. But this person is in a nightmare energy here with the nine of swords. They keep thinking about you and what they had with you and um, they're feeling stuck and trying to have strength. It's like this is very, very difficult. This not communicating with you the way that you used to communicate with this person. I feel like you used to tell each other everything and now there's very little to no communication. And they're holding on. They're not letting this go in their mind. We have the Six of Coins, the Emperor, and Death. So we have Scorpio energy and Aries energy here. Yeah, this person, this, this person, this death card this is your energy scorpio this is scorpio energy this person wants a rebirth of this connection with you they're holding on to you this four of pentacles this is holding on to something too tightly not letting it go When this person w was with you, there was a balance here. There was equal give and take. You gave a lot to this person. And now this third party connection, this third party that's showing up here is someone that um, is... Someone that could be using this person for their money or some type of financial gain. And it is a burden. This person on your mind feels like they're down on their knees, like their back is broken. But it's coming to an end. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Six of Swords. Yeah, this person's going to move away from this third party, which could very well be an ex. This person could have went back to an ex. And they're in their emotions about you. They can't stop thinking about you. This may be a cancer. But this person is... um making a plan here i feel like to move into calmer water the grass was greener on your side than wherever they've ended up okay so see this eight of pentacles ended up here for a reason because this person is working a lot right now. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Advice for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? A 
let love be your guide live a life from love guided by love stay strong be a guiding light ground yourself be love and one more you are the breath listen and connect to your intuition I feel like your intuition is telling you this person is thinking about you. This person could be on your mind a lot lately, Scorpio. Because I'm feeling like there's someone here that's on your mind. What does this person want to say to Scorpio spirits? You're so easy to see through. And I bury myself in work to forget you. I look for you everywhere. I feel like we have your so easy to see through here is because um, we also have you didn't imagine it on the bottom of the deck. But I feel like the person, this third party energy, um, is someone who wears a mask. And this person feels like they can, you know, that, that you, that they get what they see with you. You could be dealing with the Pisces, because I think I just used those exact same words in the Pisces reading. Um, you get, um, you, you're like an open book to this person. You're, you're not a mask wearing person. You're a genuine person. Okay. And then let me grab you a couple of these Oracle cards. Okay. So we have journey branch out to new worlds. You could be traveling or going on a journey. Joy, spread seeds of joy like wildflower, and no doubt you will revel in the result. Opportunities, unfurl like a fern even without warm sunlight. Okay, Scorpio, so these are the messages spirits have for you. Thank you for being here with me. I love you guys. And thank you for liking, subscribing, and um, for your time. And I will talk to you later, Scorpio. Namaste.